Martin, thank you very much for inviting me here. Really appreciate it. Um, I did a, a report for the government, particularly the NSDB last autumn, on the creative economy. Um, and I tried to get here, I really did. Uh, but every time I tried to get here, there was some compelling reason why I had to stay in Bangkok. And I felt shame-faced um, at doing a report on the creative economy in Thailand and not coming to Shanghai. So please forgive me. Um, I'm here now. Um, I, I always think there's, there's two ways of judging the creativity of a place. And there's the way that actually the NASDB likes, which is uh, statistics, uh, data, uh, GDP, the size of the sectors, employment, revenues. And that's sort of useful, but it doesn't really get into how people behave, how brave they are, how imaginative they are. And so the only real way to get a sense of that is to walk the streets and to talk to people, go in the bars, the cafes, go to the universities, go to the clubs, go to the meetings, go shopping, buy things, meet artists, and get a sense for how much fun they're having, uh, how successful they are, whether they're learning. I, I understand there are 100,000 students in Chiang Mai, um, which is an enormously impressive number. And education is one of the main factors, one of the really important factors in the creative economy. If it includes learning, because learning is more important than education. Learning is probably, in, in, this is my own personal subjective, anecdotal view, uh, not backed up by any statistics. Um, but my view is that learning, there's an extraordinary high correlation between the capacity to learn and the capacity to be creative. If you see a successful artist, designer, writer, someone who is continually creative, it's almost certain that that person is also continually learning. And, and, and by learning, I mean looking around the world, seeing what's out there, seeing what's interesting, learning from it, and then adapting behavior as a result of the learning. So it's learning and adaptation. And again, you can only sense that really by mixing with the population, mixing with the, with the people, uh, visiting a company, is a learning company. That capacity to learn is very, very important. So I did my report for NESDB. Um, it was quite difficult, I have to say, because um, I was talking about two things um, that never quite came together. One was the mindset of the people that make up a creative economy. What is, what is, what is different about that? It is a creative person in some way different? Do they have characteristics that make them different? And that's a matter of social trends, it's a matter of education, it's a matter of uh, ethnicity, it's a matter of diversity, uh, it's a matter of what people want to do. How ambitious are they? Do they take risks? Is it easy to set up a company? Is it easy to close a company? Is it, is it, what's, it, what's the situation of immigration? Do people travel a lot? What's their rep or who are their heroes? It's those sorts of things. And that's really important. And then the other thing that, that I was talking about was what can the government do about this? And you know, practical, they kept on saying, what are the practical proposals? We want, we want policy proposals. And they go all the way from the curriculum uh, but actually, curriculum is really boring. I mean, I had a presentation in Hong Kong on curriculum, it was so boring. It's death listening to someone present their curriculum. Because what's important is how the teacher implements the curriculum. 
And that, that happens in the schools and universities, sort of, during the daytime. That's what counts, not the structure. But all governments can do really is the structure. But it's the curriculum, it's, it's tax. Tax is really important, social security is really important. Um, company law is really important. All those ways in which the business world in that particular city or country has evolved. Usually, let's say, to cope with an agricultural economy or to cope with a manufacturing economy. And do those laws, regulations, conventions, customs have to be tweaked slightly to encourage creativity and innovation? And the answer is, almost all of them do have to be tweaked. And actually, quite a lot have to be abolished. Because I'm hard mostly by governments to do. I'm a businessman. I have I worked in television and film all my life. I, I, I worked for Time Warner for 15 years, worked for HBO, Home Box Office for 15 years. Um, and I still do some film. I don't do any television more. I do some film. But now in this creative economy, part of my life, I'm advising governments mainly. And it's a thankless task, I have to say. Because what governments can do is not as much as they think they can do. The successful creative neighborhoods, creative companies, neighborhoods, cities, countries, regions, have normally been successful, are successful, because of the individual actions of thousands millions of people. It's a sort of, it's, I come back to this mindset issue again. What is the mindset of the people? What do they really want to do? Are they learning how to do things better, more elegantly, more beautifully, faster, cheaper, in ways that's more satisfying for the consumer, the buyer, the audience? Are they continually striving to do that? And are their work colleagues helping them to do that? I, I developed the idea that creative ecology came out of a, 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 a job I did for the Shanghai, sorry, for the, in Shanghai for the Beijing State Council to look at the curriculum of um, secondary schools in China. And I had this idea that in a creative ecology, um, if someone had an idea, their friends, colleagues would be sympathetic even if they didn't understand it. The, the, the process of having a new idea, of striving to do something different, better, that, it, that in some even tiny, tiny way made, made life at that moment a little bit more interesting, more satisfying, more beautiful, more elegant. Um, the, 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 and that's what we always try to do. And, and you need to be in a place where people are supportive of the effort. They may disagree, you know, they may think actually it's a terribly bad idea. But they'll be sympathetic to you trying to make that change. And that's how we learn. We learn off of people being surrounded by being part of a group of people who are continually trying to do things better. We learn from them. And we learn from their failures as much as their success. I I um, I used to go around saying the credit economy was an economy of failure. Um, but then they got a really bad response. But it's actually completely true. Because you fail much more in the credit economy than you do in farming, uh, in mining, and in large-scale manufacturing, and, and in most services. I mean, in my life, I fail much more. In, in, in our lives, we fail much more than we succeed. And that's another reason why governments really can't cope with the credit economy, because what they like is stuff they can look at, uh, open up on the day of the day to be opened up, and there's going to be a success, like a building or a road or a hospital. They love that. That's great. Saying to the population, go out there and dream to do things differently. That's scary, really scary. And they know, if they're honest, if they're honest that most of the ideas will fail. So that was my job. I did it in Bangkok. Um, I'm not sure how well I did it. Uh, I never know that. Um, but that's my job. And that was where I met Martin. We met at a meeting in, in Bangkok um, early autumn. And um, this guy is the ambassador to end all ambassadors. 
I mean, he is, he is, he waves the flag of the city, I think, morning to night. I don't know how he does anything else. So, Martin, thank you very much for inviting me here. I'm, I'm delighted to be here and to meet you on your home ground and to meet everybody else here. Thank you very much. In the supermarket, it's time to come. I'll come. <laughs> 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 <laughs>